What's up? Normally I would do this for individual uh, clients, or whatever, but I figured I'd show you since I'm taking the week off of training this week, I uh, let my body recover, let everything kind of happen here. But I was going to kind of show you some things that I'm doing, even though I'm not working out, just allowing my body to recover, but I'm also healing and I'm doing some stretching things. So these are the things I do during the week as well. I'm gonna show you some internal external for the good shoulder right here. Um, a lot of people that, you know, you do presses or anything like that, especially in fighters, our shoulders really hurt. So this is some prehab rehab things that you can do as well as the things that I do. And I'm just gonna kind of take you through a couple of these. I'm gonna do it, so it's actually a workout. Um, I'm gonna do all these things and just kind of show you as I go. But first, I'm gonna show you the internal external rotations. This is good for any type of sport you're throwing, any type of parents, if you got your kids that are athletes and everything else, their shoulders hurt, you wanna protect these. This will help. Don't have them go heavy weights on their shoulders. These are all small muscles. They don't need that. Strengthen those small muscles. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do several sets of this. I'm gonna do three sets eventually. Uh, this whole thing will be, but I'm gonna go right here, go across. My elbow's gonna be tight to my side. And I'm just gonna have a little bit of resistance just so you can feel it right here. I'm just gonna have a little bit of resistance. I can move that camera as well too, because obviously I'm a strong young man, you know? So we're gonna go right here and we're just gonna go across our body here, okay? See how my elbow stays out? I'm not coming out with my shoulder. I'm just rotating across, okay? Then let me put these up. I was gonna show you that in a minute too. But then grab with the other arm and go across your body as well. You will go straight across your body. My elbow wants to stay tight to my side here. I don't want to be going like this and throwing it. Nice and easy going straight across. So we've got in, out, and then back. Okay, so you're going to rotate. Keep your arm up in a, like a T shape. Okay, put your elbow up at an L. And you're going to rotate back. Try to have a little bit of resistance, but not much. I'm not trying to blow myself. I'm trying to keep balance and get that rotation in that shoulder there so that I'm able, oh, it feels good, good. Hit those muscles, you'll feel a little pop and a little crack on all that good stuff. That's not bad stuff, okay? That's good. But then I'm on my back towards you right now, but I'm gonna go across my body with the opposite arm going out. And see, right now my left shoulder has been hurting me. And so these are good for rehab and just strengthening. When I'm not doing anything, I'm gonna go in across my body. And I naturally just, I don't count. I go until I feel like, ah, that's enough. You know, if, I don't think one rep's gonna make a difference, if not. Make sure your elbow don't come across your body, and then we'll do our reverse here. These are bothers them, I'll move a little bit forward. That's bothering my, my shoulder, my right shoulder has been bothering me a ton. So I'm gonna go nice and easy, and if it's too much, like right now that's too much for my shoulder. I don't even wanna use a band. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate it back. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. My shoulder only needs this. So I'm gonna give my body what it needs. Don't force things, and see now, my shoulder's not hurting. It's not, it's working those kinks out. Okay, and this is the reason you need to take a break every now and then when you're going as hard as that. If you just worked out one time, you don't need another break, okay? But in that process, I'm gonna do these things too. So I'm gonna do my shoulders, my internal and external. This is all good things that you do in a warm up. This is all things I do daily, okay? So this isn't nothing new for me, but I'm gonna do my toe touches and all boxing, push hips forward and reach to the ground. I'm gonna do this about 15 times each. I can't, like right now I can touch the ground, but I can't put my palm on the ground. I eventually I'm gonna keep my legs straight and reach for the apple until I'm gonna put my hand on the ground eventually. So I'm gonna do this. This is not that much effort to get a good deep hamstring underneath the butt there. Good leg stretch, hip stretch, and low back. Everybody talks about the low back. You got problems with your low back, do these, okay? You won't, you're gonna go, this is too much effort to give 30 seconds 
to help my back for the rest of the day because you are a fat-minded person too. Then I'm going to do knees. I'm just going to bring my knee up. I'm going to flex my hip flexor in the opposite leg. Bring that knee up. It's where it's functional. He said, Mike, why would I throw knees? I would never do this ever because I've never thrown any. Well, you never know when you just want to smash somebody's face. Again. You never know. You might not ever use it. I just think it's a good tool to have. You know, too many parents getting loud mouth about how good their kids are at the baseball games, huh? <clears throat> What's up, Jerry? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I don't know Jerry. Reach overs. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here. This seems simple. This hurts me to do. It's the one thing I hate the most. I do not like to do these because it hurts in my ribs and in my sides and stretches. And you can see, I don't have my watch on either. You know why? Because this can't count. Because it makes me competitive. Then we'll get some arm circles. These seem like bullshit or whatever. When can't you get flexible? You know, clap your hands behind your back. You know, get those shoulders, good rotation in the shoulders. Uh, you ever see this McGregor where he does it? There's a reason he's doing this. He's just loosening those muscles up. So far, man, we're in like seven minutes and I've been talking a bunch of bullshit and doing the exercise. And you've got time to do this. Let your body loosen and heal a little bit, okay? Um, after those, I'm going to put in, after my shoulder circles and everything else, a little bit of trunk twist. Where then this, when I'm going to go across, I'm going to pivot my back foot. So I'm like actually punching straight across my body. So I'm kind of flexing my ab. I just want to do this just for a little bit. Just to get my hips loose, my torso loose, my low back. Sometimes I'll throw an outside hook there. Gotta get those little love handles in there a little bit more. And then, I like the uh, Warrior 3 from Yoga. It's a balance reach modified, but I try to do these just for balance, concentration, everything else, what I'm gonna do here, let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna bring my knee up, toe up, knee even with my hip, all right? And then I'm gonna bend over at the waist, kicking this leg out behind me. Now, ah, mother, I don't like to set it down. Right here, try to focus and hold that position so you feel this really in your butt and your leg. Bend over, and if you can't keep your balance, come back up, rest, and then go back out. Like I'm done screwing this up. Can go a little bit deeper. Put your hands on the mat. I'm trying to get to a point where I go like this, but not this morning. Ah, stiff. It ain't happening. They kind of jog it out. I ain't that pretty. <laughs> All right, this is the knee <clears throat> that I've got replaced a year and a half ago. Six, I don't know. A lot of surgeries. Do right here. Sorry. Bring the knee up again. This knee caused me problems because I want to wobble on my foot. Because it's not, I really want to feel this in my hip right here. I do. I'm gonna reach down a little bit more, bring it up, rest here. Good stabilization in that hip, then bend over. Oh, a little bit too fast there. Ugh. Feels good. All right, 
So then, you know, I usually want to end on my neck with some shrugs. Actually, I'm not allowed doing shrugs today. I'm going to end on my neck though. It's going to go have my head off the bench where I'm looking over my shoulder. This strengthens your neck, helps get rid of the double chin, gives you that. Okay, chin to chest, look over, and then ear to your shoulder, hanging off a bench, all right? I do, right now I'm up to three sets of 30 of that a day because I want my neck to be very strong. Stronger your neck is, the better your base, everything else is, there's pillars, all that blah blah philosophy. However, I get hit in the head. The stronger your neck is, less damage. All right, I hope that helps you out today. It was 10 minutes, maybe we do you some good.